the lionfish. Along the Atlantic coast, they've gone from population zero to top predator in mere decades. Yolina Tenhaken and Farah Figueroa have taken up hunting lionfish for side income. Almost every weekend we catch lionfish, yeah. You feel very free because you are without any equipment. It's just our cells and our, our bodies and our stamina. One of us is kept the zookeeper, and the other one uh, went looking for fish. And as soon as we saw one, we just go down and we, we try to catch him. Yeah. yeah, I also do it um, as a side job. I'm 15, and I always want to have a side job and get a lot of a, a little bit of money to buy things. No, it's a really good day. Yeah. Yeah, like nine kilos. I guess. It's, yeah, I think it's nine kilos. It's a lot. Now we're going to put them in a there you are. cooler. And then we, br we bring it to a restaurant where they sell them, where they sell the lionfish. They make a lot of dishes. It's a very funny story. In fact, Farah actually didn't eat fish before she started hunting lionfish. And now she, she hunted li hunts lionfish, she had to start eating them, and she actually really likes them. Farah and Yolina are two of the many divers on the island who have helped turn the lionfish's Atlantic invasion into a commercial opportunity. As awareness builds, invasive lionfish are becoming an increasingly popular local dish. The fish can be used to create island favorites, whether it's ceviche or fried whole. <laughs> 